Hey everyone, it's Lexi, and today's video I'll be doing my review of Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J. Maas. I'm sure you guys all know that this is the final book in the Throne of Glass series, and so I had Throne of Glass was kind of like a bumpy roller coaster for me. I feel like I enjoyed the first one, I really liked the second one, and then after Air Fire, I just did not like where the series was going. And I don't know, I still like read the series, but I didn't enjoy them, and so. I don't know like so I was like I was like this book is almost a thousand pages and it has a thousand pages to redeem itself redeem this series for me so I ended up buddy reading this with my friend from school um, which is this was a series I, I actually got her into when we were doing our masters so we've been facetiming um, while reading this so this is I think maybe probably reason why I enjoyed this book more I'll give it a four out of five stars I feel like it did a really good job at weaving in the storylines from the other series and there are some parts or the other books and there are some parts where I was like I don't even remember this character because there's so many there's like reunion of characters that we don't that are from like the first book that we don't really hear about from, from the rest of the series so it's nice kind of seeing these characters that were relevant in the later books that are finally making appearance now and I I really like I feel like it was unnecessarily long that was like my one complaint about this I feel like especially for the first half of the book it's everyone is scattered everywhere and it's them finding each other and then the, the second part of the book is when they're all kind of fighting for one cause and they're together so I felt like the first part was very when they're all trying to search for each other was very redundant and just kind of I feel like it could have been summarized a lot quicker um, but I feel like she did a really good job at kind of showing each character's perspective of what was going on it was a good even balance between some of the side characters as well in particular I really enjoyed Elide um, her storyline I've always really liked Elide too and she has a very big role in here as well so I was very pleased for that um, and Kale as well kind of redeems himself and Dorian so that's like that was nice to see I'm still not a big fan of Manon and Adion I don't really like and Adion and Lysandra I felt were very underdeveloped in here and I didn't really get to see a lot of their perspectives as some of the other characters were um, but overall I was very much pleased with this series I don't know if it was because I was buddy reading it so I maybe was enjoying it a little bit more but I think it was a good conclusion to the series. It was almost a little too convenient. Um, if you've read it, you know what I'm talking about. But it didn't feel like high stakes and as like as much as it could have been. And there was just a lot of loopholes um, to what was going down. But overall, I think I really liked the. If you look at Aelin or Selena from the first Throne of Glass book. She has a lot of character development and what we see her as in here and I actually really liked her this time around. She still has kind of that sassiness to her but she's not as arrogant and I think she, I don't know, I feel like she's settled down with herself and has realized what like her her value and she really cares about Terrazin so I think I really liked her progression in here. Rowan I kind of liked a little bit better and this one I didn't like his possessiveness and they toned it down quite a bit but um, overall like I said I really actually ended up enjoying this book. Did I feel like it was too long? Yes. Um, and did I like did I not like some of the direction that the series went but I feel like this part kind of justified it in here. Um, so overall, like I said, I was pretty pleased with this book, actually. I was pleasantly surprised by how much I liked it, so I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. Um, so if you've read this book, I feel like, because the Throne of Glass series, I feel like, was really, really popular, like, 2015, and then after Queen of Shadows, it became cool to not like it. So I feel like this one has kind of gotten everyone back on the bandwagon from what I've seen on Goodreads. The reviews have been very positive as well so, so yeah like I said let me know what you guys think about it because I was kind of up and down with this series um, I really like the first two I didn't really like air fire I kind of liked Queen of Shadows and then kind of there I just didn't like the direction the series went but overall like I said I really liked this one and how it kind of did a really good conclusion so let me know what you guys think that's it guys thank you guys so much for watching let me know in the comments below what you felt about this book and all of that fun stuff so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time
Bye, guys.